Let's test out the e.l.f. Camo CC Cream and the e.l.f. Camo Concealer. Hi, I'm Glory B, and this is Glory B TV, a lifestyle channel for mature women who want to look fabulous, feel amazing, and age gracefully. Well, I'm checking out the e.l.f. Camo CC Cream, which... Looks like they're trying to compete with IT CC Cream, which is also full coverage in their display ad in the store. They had a picture of a young woman with half of her face done with this makeup, and the other half, she had some blotchiness, maybe some rosacea, and they wanted to show how it covers. And then also their concealer, which is part of the camo as well. I also bought one of their sponges. Now I have one like this from Real Techniques that I really like. It's getting a little worn. Maybe I need to wash it in a little bit of water and bleach solution probably one of these days. Uh, so I wanted to see how this works. So we're going to show how it applies, a little demo, and then later in the day we'll come back and see how it has lasted all day. So let's get right to it. I'm all set with a clean face and just to try to get a little more redness to show up in my face today I did use my trophy skin microdermabrasion which I would usually use at night so any redness overnight would go away but I used it to try to get I'm looking at my mirror now I'm a little bit pink but um and I also did well and the whole process, if you've seen, I'll link that video to, to that microdermabrasion until you do your neck. And it's a little pink. I might put a little leftover um, CC cream on that first. Now, because this is a full coverage CC cream, I'm not going to do my under eye with my pixie corrector, which I usually do. Let's just see how good this is. So... It comes out and at a pump out of the tube. Oh, that's a lot. So <laughs> I'll just dot it on. And I'm going to blend this in. Well, first I'm going to mush it around a little bit. And um, I'm going to use an e.l.f. brush, which I like better on my skin than a sponge. So I like to get it close to my eyebrows with my fingers and around my nose and especially under my eye, eyes. Okay. Now that's all I'm going to use. I'm going to get that little bit off my finger and I'm using this e.l.f. brush. All products are linked in the description box below. You have to open the description box. I still get questions from some people saying, I can't find the products. No, you have to open the description box below the video. All right, so I'm just gonna blend this around and I'm using a regular mirror. It's a couple feet from my, my aging eyes. So I'll pull up a magnification mirror to see what I'm doing. So I'm just gonna pull that down my neck. I'm one of those people who gets makeup on my clothes. <laughs> so I purposely wore a V-neck for this today. So this is where I'm going. First I'll start with my five times magnification and get around my eyes so that I get Full coverage. Let's see. Yeah, that's covering nicely. Now I guessed on the color, the color I chose called Fair 150C. It was a guess. It's probably when I first put it on a little bit warm for me, but then, you know, it kind of goes with the rest of my skin as compared to my face. So I think it was the third color. I bought it at Ulta. It was a third color from the right, from the left. So at least they have a good return policy. I know Target sells Elf. I'll link that below as well. If you prefer to buy from Target, I don't know what their return policy is. Like if you bought two colors and um, 
kept the one that was best for you and return the other. All right, let's do a quick look. Wow, that covers really nicely. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer Satin Finish. I bought this in Fair Beige. Again, it was just a guess. So for this, I will be blending it with a beauty blender, but I bought a beauty blender, an e.l.f. sponge, beauty sponge. So here, I'm just gonna dot it on, and here, I'm just gonna put a couple dots. I put most of it over here. Okay, and that's all I'm gonna put on, and now I'm going to use this sponge. I dampened it last night. I don't like it when it's really wet. I dampened it, squeezed it out, and then I rolled it in a towel, so it's still a little bit, a little bit moist. Let's see. and it's a little bit lighter sometimes when i do videos i do like to have the lighter look because there's so much with the camera that's not real life <laughs> so then i i take the little bit of extra that's on the sponge and put that on my eyelid kind of as a type of primer really and by the time I'm doing my eyes, that's dry. All right, now I'm, I'm going to do a little bit of my face here and then the rest I'll do off camera. So at this point, I'm going to use a contour stick. This is Anastasia in Mink. Do a little bit in the forehead, little on the jowls, a little bit under the cheek a little under the lip, and on me, a little bit on the sides of the nose. They say the nose keeps growing. <laughs> it never stops. That seems to be true for me. Okay, I'm just going to blend this in. And after this, I'm going to do a little bit of highlighting with my Emlyn highlighter. And I'm running low on my Emlyn highlighter. This is, it usually is a bigger compact, but this one I got as a complimentary purchase with purchase. And I'm just going to use my finger and put a little bit on the sides of my nose to brighten that area. And I'll use another flat brush for that. I guess I didn't say these are both eco tools. So I have one for contour and one for highlight. And now I'm going to set that under eye. And I'm going to use my NYX finishing powder, translucent finishing powder with an e.l.f. brush. But before I do that, I'm going to use a setting spray. I have the Urban Decay All Nighter. I'm just going to spray on my hand. Then I'm going to use my ring finger and just tap that until it feels dry out. I also, in the videos where I show this, I also do my nose just because it's allergy season and I'm blowing my nose a lot these days. And I tap it until it mostly feels 75% dry, which is about now. Now I'm going to swirl my brush in. That is blurry. <clears throat> and the translucent powder. And just tap that on. Put some on my nose. And that sets that area completely. Now I'm ready for a little bit of powder. I don't need much. I don't need an expensive powder. I just use a Rimmel powder, also link below, and a big fluffy brush. And I get 
I look really shiny in the playback when I look at these videos, so I do more of my face. One time in a playback, I hadn't powdered on my chin, which I usually don't do, and I look like I dribbled something when I drank. <laughs> okay, and then I'm going to do some blush. I have a Clinique blush. This is um, the Nude Pop color, the lightest one that they have. And just tap a little bit of that. And that's it for my face. And maybe just blend that in a little bit. All right, now I'm going to do my eyes and I'll be right back. This is the finished look close up but right after I finished my eye makeup. So, so far I think I like how both of these are looking. And by the way, for my lip, I'm using, I haven't talked about this before, um, the MAC, I think it's Love Me Lipstick, Trey Blase, that's the first coat. And then on top of it, I'm using MAC, patisserie which has some frost to it I haven't talked about this much either and the other thing I love I'm going to link these below these little caps that fit max so that you can wherever you store them you can have your lipstick up higher and you can see the color through the cap so I just throw away the black solid cap I haven't put one on this one but um, yeah, those are nice and those are linked in the description box below. So in the next clip, we're going to look at my skin later in the day. This is at 1.45 in the afternoon near a window and just using my phone, I can't see well enough. So I have my 10X mirror here. Now the interesting thing is I've also compared look, watching some videos from some other YouTubers who are over 40 talking about this CC cream from e.l.f. and how it's settling in their lines and it's looking cakey. And for me, I don't know if you can see that, but it really isn't. So, you know, I have my couple lines on my forehead and if product cakes up on me, it's gonna be on either side of my nose, maybe a little bit on the sides of my mouth. And it's not doing that right no, so that's good because the only people who on YouTube who are having a really good time all day with this CC cream were people who are under 35. So let's see how it goes later the, today. I thought I'd try it in the full sun this time. <laughs> I have a hard time looking in the sun. It's five o'clock and I also have my 10X mirror here and all I'm seeing is that I need to do a video on face shaving <laughs> to catch up on that because I am not seeing cakiness on places on my face where I would normally see cakiness. I'm not seeing it settling into my lines. Not, you know, not any more than any other product. Mm, not really. I'm not seeing cakiness around my nose. I've been outside some today. It's actually cool out, so it's not a hot day, but still, you know, by now, based on what other people over 40 were saying about this product, I think it's okay. The only interesting thing that I'll talk about the next segment is how it feels when I touch it. And I apparently touch my face throughout the day. So I think the test of time during today has shown that for me, for some reason, this is working really well. Now I mentioned in the last clip that when I touch my face, it does feel like makeup. So I'd have to compare that. I don't have the IT CC cream. I do have the IT foundation that is full coverage as well. I think that if you like the IT products and you like the coverage, but you're on quite a budget for whatever reason, this is a good substitute 
and it's more budget friendly for anybody, really. So if I'm 61 and it's working for me, then I think it has more to do with maybe skin type because yeah, if you if you use the YouTube search bar to type in Elf Camo CC Cream Review and you only look at the videos for people over 40, you're going to find a lot of people saying, oh, it's settling in my lines, it's sticking to my dry spots. I really don't have dry spots as long as I'm not using some really strong retinol. I don't get that. I get those. I get that when I use those products, but I normally don't get that. And then, of course, this morning, like I said, I used my Trophy Skin Microderm Abrasion. Maybe that took off whatever was on the surface. Maybe that helped a lot. And then the concealer, I thought, worked really well, too. And this little elf, um, check the price. Like, go in the description box and click it and check the price. So this is very, very nice. I like how it performed just as well as my Real Techniques. It's got a flat end as well. So, yeah, I, I'm really, I'm really impressed. Then after you check out all the products in the description box below the video, then check out one of my other videos by tapping its image on the right side of your screen, and I'll see you in the next video.